Greetings demons, and welcome to a quick look at the new Voidlander starter pack for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1, and it is the Absence pack. This is a really interesting one because we don't often see completely unique skins, but as far as I'm aware, this is a 100% unique set, never mind just the skin. So yeah, you get the Absence skin, which looks really cool. I'll look at it without a back bling as well, just because I know that's a bit distracting. But yeah, I really like the style with that. We'll equip that and uh, make sure to check that out. The Inky Aya, which is very interesting. It's kind of like an eye. It's kind of an orb. It's kind of flamey. It's very interesting. Very, very cool. Equip that. And then there is the Abyssal Blade. And it kind of reminds me of a few other pickaxes that we've had in the past, especially uh, I think it's called Uzi, the one for Chaos Agent. But it is a unique model, so I'm going to say that I like the smoke effect on it. I can imagine swinging that would be really cool in game, but yeah, equip that as well. And then you also get 600 V-Bucks, a brilliant deal if I do say so. You get, you know, free items and V-Bucks for £3.19, uh, £4.50 I think, uh, $4.50 sorry. Pretty good value in my opinion, but yeah, let's actually properly look at everything. So... Yeah, this skin is awesome. I did say I was going to look at it without a back bling, so I'm quickly going to favorite that and de-equip, uh, de de de-equip, take off. Um, but yeah, this skin is awesome. I love the use of orange and blue. It's such a good color combo, something that I used to use a lot in my graphic design. And yeah, I even like how it's a brighter color on the inside of the hood and the inside of the jacket in general. That's a really nice touch that you don't really see very often. As far as I can tell, this is just like a plain body. There is like some definition to the face, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, otherwise, it's a very plain model underneath the clothes. I believe the hands are actually supposed to be actual hands, not gloves. I don't really see... There might be a little bit of detail saying that it is gloves, but it's hard to tell towards the bottom. And yeah, the, as I say, these... Uh, I don't want to call them jeans. They're kind of leathery, leather, leather pants, I guess. Leather trousers. Very interesting. I like the dark orange on the side for this, like, triangular pointed design. I like the diamond on them. Uh, the fact that it's rolled at the bottom is not exactly to my liking, but hey, you get some Nike trainers <laughs> looking things. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I'm not a trainers person. I'm not really someone who cares that much about shoes. But yeah, looks pretty good. I like how the tongue is all kind of flopped out. Pretty cool overall. And then, of course... The eyes, they look awesome. You've got like a flame effect coming out with some smoke and some goo and stuff. It's really interesting. I like the glow on it. I'm sure that in a dark space, this would look awesome. And yeah, just generally very clean on the back. You know, if you're just wanting something simple while you're playing, you know, you're not seeing too much of like to distract you, I guess. I like the uh, cuffs as well. They're pretty cool with a bit of orange. Very, very cool. Oh, hello. Uh, so looking at that back bling, let's find it. Where is it? Right, we'll, we'll remove that from... Oh, no. I forget that this is how the new system works. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> I'll go to recents. Uh, right, so Inky Aya looks very interesting. I don't think we've had anything exactly like this. It does remind me of a lot of other kind of just orb-shaped back blings that we've had over time. The flame effect or the fire effect or the goo effect or whatever you want to call it is very interesting. I also like that the center of it is kind of both like an eye sort of deal, but it's also like a pulsating, like, it's almost like a symbiote thing. It's very interesting. I, I wonder how well it would work with Venom. That would be pretty interesting to look at. But yeah, it's a very simple back bling. Probably goes with a lot of different skins. But yeah, it just because it's simple doesn't mean it's bad. I quite like that overall and... uh Pretty cool. And that leaves us with the Abyssal Blade. And, oh, this thing is interesting. So, as I say, it kind of reminds me, just in general aesthetic, to the Chaos Scythe. It is very different in overall model, but it has the same sort of feel to me. I love the colour on it. The, you know, kind of metallic blue almost is really nice. The blacks, the darker blues, they all just work so well together. This could work very well for a darker underwater scene. Maybe go with Black Manta, potentially, if you're a fan of that skin. And just generally, I, I think this has a lot of potential to make some really good combos. It's very interesting. I really like the spikes on the back of it. It gives, like, an organic look almost, as if, like, that's a face that's, you know, got all the smoke coming out of it. It's very interesting in design. And just swing in it real quick. 
very rock hitting rock. You know, it sounds very, I don't want to say organic because that makes it sound like it's going to be squelchy, but it's very brick hitting brick sort of sound. It's almost like if you hit ceramic onto brick, that sort of sound. It's very, very interesting. And uh, I believe that might actually be a unique sound. It it doesn't sound like anything that I recognise, so that usually means that it's either something that's barely been used or something that uh, is completely unique. But in any case, it's a very, very cool harvesting tool that I'm sure I'm going to find a use for at some point. It is very cool. I, I love all the angles on it. It's a very nice looking pickaxe. But yeah, that is the full set. It's weird to say that because, you know, you do get 600 V-Bucks and stuff, which is a lot of V-Bucks to be uh, handling. But yeah, that's really it. So if you like this video, make sure to like it. Subscribe if you're new on here. Ring that bell. All that YouTube nonsense. Check out my main channel, youtube.com slash robotwithax, for more regular content and also just like actual gameplay and stuff. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Doing a rainbow flag, happy pride, rabbit with facts. Streamer, let's play, they them out like dinosaurs. FNAFN, troll, not the leader of a cult. Rabbit with sacks, it's Luna.